Hey, hey, gang. Lou here. So, it's been a while since I put a video up. Um, I've just been really, really busy. Uh, last Sunday, man, I normally don't work Sundays in my shop. Last Sunday was a thrash day. Started at 8 in the morning to get done until 8 o'clock at night to get a vehicle finished for a customer. Custom van. <clears throat> so, um, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's getting lucky out there, winning. Our job is to do what? Take as much as we can from the casinos. Why? Because that's their job, is to take as much money as they can from us. Alright, so, everybody put on your thinking caps. Let's review a couple of things. Um, I do go through and read the comments. I don't care about what people say, but I do go through and read the comments. So, here's the two things that stick out to me. Daily compound interest doesn't work. Martingale doesn't work. All right, you know what? I'll give you some of that. <clears throat> they work up until they don't work. Now, I enjoy the daily compound interest. All right, it works for me. I enjoy the Martingale. It works for me. Using the bet spreads or some of the other methods where you have to maintain, you know, where you should say you get stuck at the third or fourth or fifth bet and you're, I'm bouncing back and forth there for a while, yeah, that ends up wiping me out. The Martingale, I got to hit one out of six times. All right? And kind of like when I go shooting, if I can't hit it in six shots, I ain't going to hit it. So, in that case, uh, you know, you just kind of reboot and start over. Now, here's... Here's the way I normally play, okay? as far as my money management, or I should say as far as my bet, uh, my betting amount strategy, all right? I just shoot for a certain amount per day, okay? That's it. Now, that depends on my bankroll. Now, full disclosure, I did have a wipeout during the week. Actually, I had two wipeouts during the week. But here's the thing, the way I bet is that my stake is half of my bankroll, normally, all right? Now, I'm going to show you a not no normal day. So, $700 bankroll, and this is what I've been maintaining every day, <clears throat> okay? I need to add $300 a day to that. Why? Because that's what I need to live on. So, what that $300 is, okay, so it's $1,000, and I say, oh, man, it's, it's nice, $1,000 a day. No, 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 it's $300 a day. So, if I take that $300, okay, and I divide that by six times in a shoe, I'm sorry, let's, let's do that over. I take that $300, I divide that by six shoes. It's $50 a shoe, all right? on a $700 bankroll. Now, if we take that 50, divide that by six wins, I've got to win $8 six times. Okay, now I, I do $10 minimum bets. So I win $10 six times and, well, you can do the math, all right? Now, every day I take out that $300. Why? Because that's what I need to live on. So, um, now, I do that for a week, right? And this is what happens every time I wipe out. And I wipe out as much as anybody else does. But here's where things get really, really fun, okay? So I'm going to take that 300, which I've been doing. And I'm actually going to cut it down to 200. And I'm going to leave an extra 100 a day in the casino, right? So it's $100 a day that I'm growing. I do that for seven days, Right, 100 times 7 days, that's $700, plus my original $700. Now I've got a $1,400 bank. Okay, that is awesome. I do that for one more week, add another $700 to that. Now I've got a $2,100 bank. That's in two weeks, right? Does that seem like an eternity for some people? Sure. If it doesn't work for you, hey, whatever, man. Baccarat gambling money management, it's as subjective as food, okay, or cars, okay, 
I like GM muscle cars. I like red meat. Some people like Priuses and vegetarian food and other men. I, that's not for me. Now, at $2,100, guess what happens? All right, we get to up our bets. So, at $20 a bet, and we go out six martingales, all right? 80, 160, 320, 640. That's an $1,160 uh, stake. I'm still under half of my bankroll. So if I wipe out, guess what? I can still play at $10 bets. Life is good. And I can always come back. Now, that I only have to do for seven days. Right? Here's the reason why. I'm making $720 a day. So if we take 720, divide that by six shoes. Let's try it again. 720 divided by six, six shoes. It's $120 a shoe. Divide that by six wins. There you go. There's your $20. So 20 times six times six. All right? Out of that, I'm still going to take my $200 a day. So... I have my 720. I'm taking $200 a day out. That leaves me $520 a day to grow my bank. Got it? $520 a day to grow my bank on top of the 2100. Now, you take that 520, multiply that by 7 days. That gives me $3640 plus my original 2100 we started with. We're at 57.40. Well, that's not bad. This is week three. Now, we're not increasing the money each day. We're not doing anything. We're just making the same amount each day. Kind of like having a job. Now, out of that, I'm looking to make $1,440 a day. Right? That sounds exciting. But I'm taking 400 a day out from me. So, what happens is that there is $1,000 a day to grow in the bank. So, we take $1,000 times 7 days. That's $7,000 plus our $5,600 about that we had before. Now, we've got $12,600. And, you know what? Let me back up. So, at a $40 bet. We've got a $2,520 stake out of our $5,600. So again, where are we? We're below half. So if we lose, guess what? We could still go to $20 bets. That loses, I could still do $10 bets. Make sense to everybody? Now, back at the $12,600. There, I'm doing $100 bets. Why? <clears throat> we do 100, 200, 400, 800, 1600, 3200. That's our six martingales. So that's $6,300 stake to make $100. Does it seem ludicrous? Yes. Am I the first person to come up with this concept? No, of course not. So. I'm doing $100 bets now. I'm winning six times per shoe. I'm doing six shoes a day. I'm making $3,600 a day. Now guess what happens? I take $3,000 a day out for me. 600 stays in the Grow the Casino Bank, just in case there's a hit someplace. And that's that. That's in four weeks. Okay, four measly weeks. Now, does that always happen and maintain? No, of course not. You know, I, I've been undisciplined. I, I've burned myself out. <clears throat> I've gone on tilt and wiped out my bankroll. It happens, you know, everybody goes through it. 
So, that being said, um, well, let's play some Bach. All right, gang, sorry about the delay from where I did the little math lesson, but I had to, uh, well, I had to eat dinner. I don't really gamble on an empty stomach. By the way, let's talk about that for a second. Um, for those of you who have an air fryer, put your burgers in the air fryer. Now, I'm not talking about those frozen bubble burgers or whatever. Go get some 80-20 meat. Season it the way you want. Make a couple patties, put them on the basket, put them in the air fryer. 380 degrees, 8 minutes. Oh, man. I mean, I, I love grill cooking, but the, way better than I could do on a grill. The only difference is that you don't get that mm, that charring, that sear. Okay? Um, but you can still toast the buns in there, all that. So, for me, it's mayonnaise, honey mustard, pickles, burgers, cheese, I'm good. I'm done. All right. So, um, here, here's something interesting. Uh, so, I'm on DraftKings. This is the only place that I play at. Um, so, here, check this out. Go to the bottom one first. It says I've opted in, right? So, they're going to give me back $25,000 in free credits for losing. Allergies are, are killing me today. I, I, I've, been, I, I've been in rough shape today. Um, I actually had to take a nap earlier. Uh, it's just, it, it's terrible. And then, um, here, uh, you look at the top line there. It says you've been credited. So it says that, uh, it doesn't say how much. So let's take a look at here on my account. Okay. So like I said, I keep a $700 balance for now, right? Free credits. So check this out. I've got 200, they gave me back $215. And the crowns that you see up there, those convert over to regular dollars. Uh, I forget what the exchange rate is. I think it's I don't know, 0 0.01 or something like that. So that's like 80 bucks. Um, but yeah, just for losing, they gave me free credits. Wonderful. That's how good of a loser I am. Okay. Enough of that. Let's see if we got a table we can get in on. Um, let's see. It says I have until the 21st to use them, so I'm just going to play with my cash balance. And if I have a loss, well, you know, I could always dip into that. All right, so these two tables here are about to end. But it does look like it's a pretty streaky night tonight. So... Uh, I'm gonna wait for two new shoes. Uh, there's only two tables where I play. Okay. Um, nine for the banker. Wow. Close game. Banker wins natural nine over eight. We got A N and Rock. Um, that was in game, you know, uh, hand fifty-seven. All right, I'll come back when uh, there's two new shoes. All right, so we got two fairly new shoes here. Um. I'm going to go ahead and jump into this one. I just got myself caught up here on my sheet. Now, I don't have a set betting sequence because they all fail. All right, any sequence you have is going to have an opposite sequence, and that's where your fail comes in. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and play the shoe. Um, what do I mean by that? Well, I'm going <clears> to <throat> look for emerging patterns, and I'm going to play based on those patterns. Now, what we're looking at here, if you look at the main road, we've got three players and a banker, right? Now... The history of the shoe says that banker only comes out once. Everybody's betting on player right now. Let's see what happens. There you go. That's why history doesn't matter. Not in this game. All right, so need to win five times or six if I play five shoes. Uh, six times if I play five shoes. Either way, I'm looking for $300 total by the end of the night. I'm only going to let you guys sit in on one shoe because, well, I don't want to make this any more boring than it has to be. 
So let's see what happens. There we go. That's one down. Now again, you know, we we know what a set of uh, curtains or a three by three looks like, right? However, on the weekends, uh, this casino gets a little crazy, and well, the patterns don't always do what they're supposed to do. So I'm just going to wait. You know, you don't have to play every hand. You don't have to jump in right away. Patience is key. Yeah, so nine nine tie. That's pretty strong. So, things seem to be kind of streaky tonight, so let's, uh, I don't know, let's just follow the winner and see what happens. Hopefully we don't get involved in a six chop here. All right, so it's two down. Oh, why not? And we'll wait for the dealer change here. Hopefully she understands how to work this foot button. If you remember my last video, they this is the table that they have a problem with the with the button. And she thinks she's playing speed bock. Alright. That's a swing and a miss. And there's another swing and a miss. Mm, let's see. I'm going to wait and see which way this goes. Let's see what happens. Like I was saying before, I hope everybody's doing okay, depending on where you are with allergies this year. I don't suffer from allergies, and the past two days has just absolutely kicked my butt. Now, I was freezing earlier today. It was 75 degrees, and now, uh, you know, now I'm sweating. Okay, so we got that. That was pretty easy. Um, all right. This is a typical two by one pattern. So, two players, one banker, two players, one banker. Um, however, it's the weekend. So, let me see which, which way this goes. Okay.
really don't like playing on my phone. I, I like playing on the computer better because I could see the uh, the bead plate very easily, and it goes by rows of six. Right. Anchor. So looks like it's going to try to chop. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so what I was saying before, if you guys have an air fryer, if you don't have one, go out and get one. They're not that expensive. Man, I, I do rotisserie in it. I, I I love this thing. I fought my wife back and forth about getting it. And now that we got it, well, honestly, I can't live without it. And because she does not watch my videos, I could say whatever I want. Okay, so we need one more win in this shoe. And I'm done with the shoe. And then I just got to play five more shoes after this, which you can see how quick this goes. I mean, we've been in this for, uh, what, eight minutes? And there we go. That's it. That's all I'm looking for out of this. Now, this looks like it's going to be a pretty good chop going. Um, my discipline tells me Stop playing here. I hit my wind stop, move on to a different shoe. Uh, lots of people have said, well, you got to take whatever the casino's given out. Uh, Wilson's famous for saying that. And he's right. Up until it doesn't work. And there, it would not have worked. So, no, that doesn't mean they can't come back and win from that. I mean, it, it, this whole shoe has not gone more than three. So you've could, you could just stay on player the entire shoe. Uh, up to this point anyway. And not have gone past six Marnies. All right. All right, guys. Um, go out there. Play safe. Have fun. Get paid. Make money. And remember, I'm not here to teach you how to play. I'm only showing you how I play. What you do is entirely up to you. Again, gambling is as subjective as cars and food. Got it? All right. Eat well, people.